Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you how to make custom dividers or dashboards for your planner. Now I'm going to be specifically showing for a, this is a classic happy planner size, nine disc, custom disc bound planner. But if you have a ring bound or disc bound, anything where you can you know, take pages out and add them in, you can kind of follow this. You would just have to change the, you know, you just have to kind of measure and see what size you'll need to cut it with. Um, but it's pretty simple and I just think it's a really uh, fun way for you to customize your planner. So I wanna briefly show you a few things I've done already before I show you how to uh, make a new one. So this right here is actually one that I ended up, I cut it a little bit too short, but that was okay. And I, I kind of wanted to use it. Um, once I saw it was just plain black grid, I wanted to put stickers on it and use it as a layering piece. So I have this clear cover, which is my favorite thing ever. I got this from Cloth and & Paper and it's just a clear planner cover. And I love how when you put these clear stickers on it, I, I just, I absolutely love it. And so for this, I just, I only use clear stickers on the front. That's just kind of how I wanted to do it. And then here, I just have some really cute stickers. Um, these all happen to be from the Honey Bee Shop. And then on the back, I have a different pattern and this is a different paper. Um, and also stickers from the Honey Bee Shop. So you'll see here that I laminated this paper before I put the stickers on, and that was a choice. Now, sometimes I will actually put the stickers on and then laminate, but I mean, it's really, it really just kind of depends. But what I've found is, you know, once you laminate and then you put stickers on top, it's a lot easier if I decide, oh, you know what? I want to peel this sticker up and use it somewhere else. It's really easy to peel it off of the laminate as long as you just kind of like get something underneath. I like to use this little uh, Cricut spatula thing and just kind of get under there. I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna do it, but um, it's just a little bit easier if you're thinking about removing stuff. And also anything that is holographic, once you run it through the laminator, I've learned the hard way, um, the hollow is still there, but it's just not quite as like reflective and sparkly. So that's another reason I like to put it on top. But anyway, I digress. Okay. Let's get to my first monthly divider here. So this was one, I actually made a washi dashboard and I just laid washi down on the back of this paper. So this paper is actually a piece of cardstock from one of those um, paper, paper pads, I think they call them, uh, from Michaels. And I just laid my washi down. I just started diagonally and just kind of kept going and then I laminated it. Um, and then that is my monthly divider. And in this, I used a paper from the Babe Box, which is what we're gonna be using today. Um, I used the paper and then, yeah, I just cut it and laminate it. It's very simple. And I love the way I have it set up. Um, this actually is just a, a photo that I printed and just laminated it. A couple photos that I took. I love that with the way this is set up, you know, because I'm using these removable adhesive tabs, I can, you know, if I decide, you know what, I really like this divider, I want to use it for September, I can do that because it's just, it's just a tab. There's nothing permanent about it. So um, some people like to actually write the month on their design, like they like to, you know, design something digitally and print it and, and have the actual month on there. Um, but me personally, I don't because I like to, like this one, I'm going to keep in my planner, like once March is over and I take this out, because that's how I plan, um, or that's how I use my catch-all planner. Like once the month is up, I want it gone. I want it out of my planner, it's just how I am. Um, and I put it on a separate set of discs, but I like being able to reuse it. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make your own dividers. And again, if you have a ring bound system, you can absolutely do this. Um, I do not currently own a ring bound planner to, uh, to show you. So I'm gonna show you this bound. Uh, Discbound is my, my catch-all planner. So what I have here, I'm gonna decide which one I wanna use. I have a lot of options. So these are papers from the Honey Bee Shop Babe Box. Oh man. So pretty, it's very hard to choose. Mm. Now, you know what I love about these is that they're so great as like layering pieces. So you'll see, 
I actually have one in here, a piece of acetate that I just cut down. You don't have to do anything with it except cut it down. And then it's just a really nice layering piece. This is a freebie on Shauna Klingerman's website, shaunaklingerman.com. I printed it on vellum. Love how it came out. Um, so yeah. I think for the purposes of this, we will use... Let's start with this one. All right, so the first thing you want to do is obviously know the size that you're going to need. So depending on your specific planner, that will determine, you know, what size you will need your divider to. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take one that I've already made, and I'm just going to show you what the dimensions are. using my little mat here to measure. So this is just a little bit over seven inches, um, but it should be seven inches. It's just, you know, it's not perfect. And... <laughs> So it's 9.25 tall and seven inches wide. So seven by 9.25 is the um, classic Happy Planner size. So that's what I'm using. And I always like to give myself a little bit more room. Like for example, when I go to measure this, so I'm gonna get out my, out my pen here to make a little mark. So when I go to measure this, since it is seven inches long, I like to just go just a hair over that because I know I'm not the best with the with the cutter and I'm probably gonna make a mistake. And same for this. So when I go to 9.25, I'm just gonna go a little bit above there. Just make a mark. And this is the cutter that I have. Um, I actually got this on Amazon. And I had a, a different cutter before that you may have seen on my channel before, and um, it's fine. I just find this one, the, the only issue I was having with it was that it was hard to tell where it was actually cutting. And I find this one to be a lot easier, so, um, and it was very inexpensive. So with this one, you can see exactly where it's going to cut. And I'm just going to butt it all the way up here and line this up. Okay, and now we're just going to cut where I made that other mark. Okay, and that is the appropriate size. Now, pro tip, save your scraps. So, like, I cut this off and you're probably like, what the hell are you going to do with that? If you do any kind of journaling, art journaling, scrapbooking, anything... I love to use little pieces like this and just like tear them and use them as layering pieces. So I have a whole like folder where I hold stuff like this. So don't throw that kind of stuff away. So now I'm going to take y'all with me over to the laminator and show you how to laminate this. If you've never used the laminator, maybe you haven't. Just, just going to show you. All right, y'all. This is my laminator and I have placed my sheet in a laminating pouch. I got these pouches at Target. These are three millimeter laminating pouches. You'll see I have the five millimeter thing selected. I just find I get better results when I choose that on this specific laminator. It may all be in my head, but that's just what I do. And then you wanna make sure you put the paper all the way up to the edge. And now we're just going to slowly feed this through. And I like to run it through usually twice, just to kind of make sure it's really like fully laminated and the edges are together and everything. I like to run it through twice, but you definitely don't have to do that. But yeah, we're just gonna let this finish and then we'll take it over and we will punch it and put it in our planner. All right, y'all, we are all laminated. And now all we have to do is trim off the excess laminate and punch it. Now I'm gonna show y'all something that happened. This is almost inevitable when you have pets, but I got a little tiny cat hair. I'm gonna cover it with a sticker, it's okay. All right, so I'm just gonna line this up with the edge of that laminate there. All right, let's make sure edges are all sealed nicely. And now we're gonna line up our punch. Now, y'all are gonna be like, oh girl, that punch is bougie. It is, but um, I got this on Mercari and the seller didn't mention that the bottom part that holds all the, uh, you know, when you punch the little, you know, it, it's, it's not there. So whenever I punch, I have all the little things fall over the table, which 
it's fine. It's still a great punch, and I won't pay no seventy dollars for a punch. But it's it's a really good punch. All right. So I'm just gonna line this up. Oh great. Yeah. See all the little like. Yeah, they all fall. How pretty is that? Oh, I love it. I love it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decorate, since this back is kind of plain, I'm gonna decorate with some die cuts. And again, I'm putting the die cuts on after I laminated just because it's easier for me to like remove them and rearrange if I want to. So I'm gonna pull out some of these from the Crafty at Heart Babe Box. Oh gosh, she's so precious. I can't. Also, something else you can do that's really fun is you can, um, well, I showed you with the with the washi dashboard, but if you ever want to put washi down and then laminate it, it's a really cool effect. Like it keeps your washi all, you know, like together. It's not going to peel up. It's she's in there, um, so it can be really cute. Like if you want to put some washi down before you laminate and you can always put watchy down now and then laminate again uh just yeah side note and again what i love about this is it's not permanent so there's not a lot of stress because these peel up so easily i'm going to try to strategically cover that cat here And that's it, pretty simple. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful, uh, enjoyed this. I'm actually gonna make this my April divider because I really like it. I'm getting ready to take March out, so I'm gonna move it here at the top. These Avery repositionable tabs aren't everything. Now, I do lab, you see the dots on it? I, I had it on a piece of dock red paper and it like picked up the ink from the dots. So it makes me laugh, but I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna freak out about it. And then uh, for May, I'm just gonna use this one. And I did the same thing on this one. I had it down on Dockerid and then I looked it up and I was like, oh, you took the dots with you. So yeah, pretty simple as long as you have, you know, a laminator. And if you don't have a laminator, um, you can use a self laminating pouch. I know they sell them at Walmart, but basically it's just a pouch that you put it in where you don't need the heat from a laminator. So you can absolutely do that. You don't have to laminate it at all. It would just be like a piece of cardstock, which is fine. Um, yeah, but I love the, the laminated effect. Uh, again, I did get my laminator at Target uh, back during the back to school time i'm not sure um i'll let you guys know i'm planning on doing a um back to school like shop with me this year uh last year was like you know i didn't actually physically go out that much because of corona and everything but um i back to school shopping season it you know if you're in the planner community like that's the best time of year it's always been my favorite time to like go look at new pens and notebooks and it's just that's, I, I love it. So um, I'll definitely let you guys know. I'll keep an eye out for the laminators this year. But yeah, don't get it at Michael's. I got that that exact same laminator. I paid $25 for it at Target during back to school. And this was just last year. I don't know if something happened with the laminators and they shot up in price, but yeah. They had that same laminator for 60 bucks. No. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please subscribe if you have not. It really helps out the channel. Check out all the links in my bio. Um, I have my Patreon. I have my podcast link, my Instagram, all that good stuff down there in the bio. Be sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Uh, and let me know if you have created your own dividers, if you have done anything to kind of customize your planner or um, you know your traveler's notebook. I do have a video here on my channel um, from a little bit back um, on how to make dashboards for your traveler's notebook, if that's something you're interested in. Um, it's specifically for the B6 size. 
And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.